Hey everyone, welcome back to this long-awaited uh, video. Um, long-awaited by me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, I took uh, some time off just to get away from uh, the grind of... Uh, when I say the grind, not so much the grind of drawing and creating, but the grind of creating videos uh, specifically for for YouTube and trying to generate just like continuous content to hopefully garnish more followers and so um, so I was like oh, I gotta I gotta just take a break just from that aspect because I was like just chasing trying to get followers and trying to <clears throat> um, facilitate the the YouTube algorithms and the other social media algorithms and and I just have to concede I don't have the time to post every day or four times a week or even twice a week um, so, so, so that was one aspect of just taking a break, stepping away. And the other was just to take a break. I normally do that. Just, um, take a complete break. So not writing scripts, not drawing, um, you know, just full on break vacation from drawing. And it helps. It helps uh, to just rejuvenate one's creative ideas and thought processes, um, at least for me. Um, and growing up, uh, my younger days with my art, I was like, oh, I can't take a break. You know, I was like, I just get out, draw and draw and draw. And, and, um, and technically, I, you know, I wasn't completely out of it. Mentally, there would still be thoughts of, hey, what would be, you know, the next episode? Or what kind of twist can I add to the plot of this, you know, uh, comic? And, you know, just what different watercolor stuff can I attempt to do? And, and so, um, you know, although I took a physical break from drawing and sketching and and writing um there was still like mental things going on in my head so <laughs> um but yeah but it was good just to not worry about creating content uploading and all that stuff so um but this video is the welcome back <laughs> video in a sense and also an update because even while I was creating videos and uploading, there's a lot of different things I'm working on. And I have redacted some of the, the titles and names of the characters because since I have not officially published a finished um, product, I, you know, I don't want titles or names to be claimed. And so... Um, you know, and I'm not like trying to, you know, be like, hey, people are gonna claim. But it's just, hey, once you upload something, and I mean, it's available to everyone to see, and and I don't want to risk. Oh, hey, that's a catchy, cool name or title. Um, so, because I do a lot of a research on titles and characters and character names to ensure that I'm not. Um, taking someone else's name or title, you know, even if it's unintentionally. Um, so, because that, that happened once, I had um, the barn or whatever, and I and I Google it and didn't come across anything. And then two years later, apparently there was another comic <laughs> series called The Barn. Um, I I think different, complete different premise, but you know 
Um, and I looked into it, and yeah, they had started years before I did with that title. And I was like, man, I don't know how that didn't pop up when I was looking for it. And so, so yeah, so those kind of things, you know, I just try to avoid. And, and unless I know that I've officially published something, then I'll have to name out. So that way, the copyright of it being published by me first by default is already there. And then I can move on to like trademarking and all that. But so anyway, so that's why there's a few redacted um, stuff. It's just the title of the comic, the, the working title and the the character's name or names. So in this one, this is I was, I was just about to say it. <laughs> And I may slip up and say it. I don't know. I may, I'll probably, you know, edit it out when when I when I do the edits. So, this year is a female character. Uh, I think I've gone through this before. Um, hopefully, this won't be too long of a video because um, I'm just gonna break down. Um, yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna necessarily go into the premise too much, you know. But just to show that. You know, I work on, um, let me see if I can, um, sorry, I should have prepped that, uh, I want to, so you can, okay, I want to be able to highlight, so I start off with, you know, the, the background you know race height um, eye color all of that even if it's gonna the finished product is going to be black and white I just try to for my sake lay out as much of a description of the character because um, I like to start with the characters I'll do the same with the the environment what will be the main environment the sort of like the plot itself um, whether it's, you know, current time setting or past, future, whatever, dystopian, you know, whatever it is, you know. But I usually start with the character description for first and, um, and then move on from there. So I'll start here, race, height, eye color, hair, um, build. Uh, in my earlier days, I used to go like, nuts and, and i think i was trying to follow the you know like the, the marvel dc comics structure you know i was going into like blood type and um uh, um date of birth um you know i mean although i do have a do i have age on this hmm, i don't usually i put age but i know I, it was it was slightly more um uh, information and and you know as i grew i'm like ah, i don't need all that and, and and i don't think the the audience care as much unless it is pertinent to a plot line so but but that's what i do i do a, a background of description and then that helps me draw and sketch accordingly now of course i'm starting off with the face um, um, so the build quality doesn't necessarily pertain as much unless of course it's going to be someone that has more weight uh, someone who's maybe thinner then that may uh, impact you know the structure of their face so um, but yeah so I'll start off with the face um, and, and I just do different sketches so here uh, it's a female character and uh, I, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I started with this or this. Uh, it may have been this that I started off with. And and as a base, I was like, okay, I like it. But there's certain things I'm like, hmm, maybe I can change. Like here, the eyes. I felt like the eyes were a little too big um, for <clears throat> the face structure. Uh, but overall... I liked everything and so and if that's the case then I'll highlight the eyes and maybe reduce them somewhat you know just change certain things that I I'm not feeling for that character because usually I have a picture in my mind that 
this is what the character should look like and then the more I sketch it out sometimes I can persuade myself to change that initial perception or where I'm like mm, no it's not meeting it so and that's why I do all these sketches and again in the past I mean I would have so much more um, sketches but again time 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 um, I, I just try to minimize that production process because you know I could spend weeks upon weeks just sketching out and and, and and you know typically probably should you know but I again I just realistically don't have that time if I take all that time just to do production work then I won't I mean the, the time of uploading and finishing um, different projects uh, would be minimal uh, at, at best so so I try to I try to isolate as much as I can the initial image of the character that I have in mind and so um, and so yeah so you know I try different whether it's a little shorter um, head based um, maybe longer head base um, work with you know the nose or the lips uh, if there's something, if there's a look that I have in mind and I've and I've gotten, like, say, the eyes, then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to keep those eyes. And now i got to work on the head shape, the length, the width. Um, and then once I, I think I, and once I come close to the image that I'm looking at, I put a check mark, like here. And so on this, initially... Uh, I liked. I reduced the eyes. Um, I reshaped the nose, and um, you know it's gonna be a, a black female. So that sort of um, you know African uh, what's it anatomical uh, <coughs> trying to find the words uh, features. Thank you. Um, I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> I was saying thank you to myself. Um, you know, I need to, you know, make sure that it's accurate and, you know, uh, as accurate as it can be. Because, you know, there's no one look, you know, but at least it could be a clear representation of, you know, because I can't draw this face and be like, hey, it's a European. No, and I can't draw a European type face and say, oh, hey, it's supposed to be someone of African descent. You know, it just, you know, it needs to be, although it's a comic, it just needs to be accurate. And so, so yeah, so this initially, I really did settle on. And, and after I did, I started to, as you can see, this is still the seam. I started to play around with hairstyles. And, um, and then as I did that, you can see it's starting to morph into a slightly different overall um, look of the face and nose structure. Um, because again, like, you know, like I said, initially that image can evolve into something different. You know, it can be something that, I, oh, I want to add this or, oh, you know what? Now I need to remove this because now with me adding the, um, hair designed you know maybe the, this facial structure needs to be adjusted somewhat to better suit this hair design you know particularly if I am leaning towards a certain design of hair so so here you know I started here started with locks I said okay, okay well kind of like it not sure then the length and I, again I'm, I'm trying to think of time as well because if I do something really intricate, a hair design, then that's much more time. So that's much more time with the hair. So I'm trying to find something that can be simply um, designed, but yet still striking and still having some form of a silhouette where if, the, where if it was just a shadow of the character, it could still be distinctive. And so... So I was looking at here, and I said, okay, well, I do kind of like it, but, you know, there's a lot of working um, 
elements here with the hair hair design that I typically won't mind but I have to think of the creation process and um, and minimizing um, anything that will take more time with drawing and and you know the whole illustration process and so so then after that I said okay well um, what about this and so you can see here so this is like the new face structure uh, it's not frontal it's more of like a three-quarter uh, 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 headshot and and then as I did that you know I adjusted the nose and the lips from this initial uh, uh, design and so and um, and so when I did that, now I started with this new uh, head shot angle. And I said, okay, well, I'll do the hair designs from that head shot angle. And so I started here and adjusted the, hair, the, the dreadlocks uh, <clears throat> hairstyle. And I said, okay, kind of like this one. Um, went there too long. Um, and then I sort of blew that one up a little bit more to see if it would work. And I was like, ah, not sure. And then I just continued onto another page. And here we go. So now I have the same head shape. And I'm going with this. And tried some other hair designs. And I thought, wait, that's too short. Because I was looking at, okay, I don't want it too long or too short. And, and that's what helps with just sketching out and and that's the pro of just sketching and sketching out because then you'll see oh you know what I can adjust my perspective I can adjust my initial um, idea of how this character should look and, and and it's very helpful you know it helps you to grow and not get too boxed in with your initial um, image and so uh, and then at the same time you want to you know kind of reel that in because rein that in because you <clears throat> you don't want to um you can you can be stuck in <laughs> in drafting um um uh what's the word you, you can be stuck in that drafting cycle of just okay maybe this maybe that maybe that at one at some point you're gonna have to you know made the decision that okay this is what we're doing with and we're going to move on with that so came here um tried this this um hair design and i said like, you know what i like it it's distinctive um and uh it's not that intricate and um and it just sort of naturally uh flowed and connected with me and it and then so i started with this one initially and then this is like a uh, second part of that design with the hair being over the air uh, as in this shot where it's exposed so and those kind of things you can you know you can purpose to play around with too as well if you're watching this and you're an aspiring artist and you want to get into you know comics or illustrations or character design some tips like that so so this this is my working process and so that's what I did for um, this female mean character design and um, the script for this I do have the premise uh, it's somewhat you know it's based in the future um, the setting um, you know somewhat like dystopian um, I, I could say and um, I have a concept uh, but the concept kind of parallels with uh, a movie and I'm just trying to make sure that I, I in the plot and the 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 premise of the comic series that, and it, and it'll be a short series. It's not going to be like an ongoing one. That it doesn't in any way copy or too similarly represent the same premise of the movie and so because uh, it's a completely different idea com completely but it's just that some of the bones of the the foundation 
uh, I'm like, ooh, this this is kind of close to that, and, and so I'm trying really hard to readjust some things within the plot and the premise. Um, well, not so much the premise, but just any connections so that you know it cannot be um, speculated that oh, hey, this is just a spinoff of this original entertainment. Uh, property and so so that's why I've just been trying to just sketch out and you know but I'm kind of stuck in the sense of man you know how am I going to really make sure that this separates itself from that IP that's already been done so and I don't know and if for some reason I can't it'll be unfortunate I may just have to shelve it for a time and you know and there's been projects that I've shelved and um and, you know, I just didn't get to it because I'm like, ah, it's just the concept is harder to materialize. And and I'm just like, ah, I don't know. I, I can't do it. I either don't have the skill level or I, you know, I just can't. I can't see. I can't see the end of that project. And so I'm like, ah, I can't do it. So. And it's unfortunate. And so I just shelve them, archive them, and then revisit them if they do. And and so, you know. And that's another reason why I don't like to put out the names and stuff like that. Because then if it doesn't come to fruition, it's not out there. And I can still hopefully retain that information unless someone else comes and use the same, you know, title or whatever. So, but that's that. And then before I close, I said it was going to be a shorter video. <laughs> and, 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 and it's not. But this here is one that I um, I am jumping full. Uh, there's there's nothing that you know. There's no premise um, conflicts at all, um, and so uh, you know. So I'm really excited and and starting this. The only thing, as you can see up here, I'm trying to decide whether or not it'll be in black and white or color. Because I do miss just the black and white. You know, my um, janitorial services uh, initially were black and white, and now it's color. And, of course, color is nice. It pops, you know, it, you know, you add a little bit more expression visually. Um, uh, but also, I mean, you can do that with inks, you know, with just black and white as well. You know, the, the more proficient you are, you can really achieve... Um, truly graphical uh, sensory illustrations you know you, you become a, a good master of, of inks and so which which I'm not <laughs> um, and um, even with color I'm not but you know but then color is just it's I don't know it's uh, an easier entry point you know it just captivates immediately and so uh, but I do miss the black and white because it, it, it helped me uh, just like with the watercolor, watercolor. It helped me embrace that thing that I'm not that proficient with and it helped me to uh, strengthen those areas and, you know, and work them out instead of running away, but really exercising those weaknesses and and so so that's why this one i'm like oh man um you know still haven't decided if it's going to be black and white or color and so but we'll 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 see we'll see what happens with that um but yeah but it's hard i can't really comment more on the premise because it's it's so straightforward and when you see it you know it you know i i can't really say i, I guess anything i can say is it's based around um yeah um, sports and analysts and stuff like that <laughs> so um there's two guys uh one's older one's younger again you can see here what i you know the character study um you know the hair 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 color hair length eyes height um you know the build you know, personality stuff like that i all include um and some things I'll even add if it pertains particularly to the character design. So here, facial hair, 
you know, you know, of course I didn't need to do that with this female character, you know, so, so with the character study, you know, some things will, you know, the character study bio will, fl um, some things will be added and pertaining to whatever that character is, you know, you know, if they're human, if they're non-human, you know, all that stuff as well. So, so started here and, and initially this was the first, um, uh, character sketch design I did. And I was like, yep, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And that's helpful for me with, again, my time issue with, uh, not having enough time. And so, uh, so it's always great when I have a, I have a picture in my head and then I'm able to execute it when I go and illustrate, sketch it out. And I was like, this is perfect. And the only difference I did here was, um, actually this was the, well, you know, it's, this is a copy, but this was the first one. Um, and then I said, well, let me see what it will look like without the mustache. And so I did that and I was like, nah, it's okay. But the mustache, uh, mustache <laughs> adds a, a bit of distinction, you know? So, so I kept the mustache for, um, this character here and then went on and, and of course you can see, you know, this is a, uh, character based on, um, a Caucasian race and this here a character based on, you know, uh, black African race. And so I said it here, I think this was the first sketch. And then I was like, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, can I change anything? You know, I want to, okay, okay, can I add a bald spot or something? Uh, can I change up the design of the of the hairstyle? Um, and then I went here and I was like, okay, this looks too cartoony. Um, didn't really much like the face structure or the nose structure. And um, and then went back to, to this here. So this is the, the one that we're going with. And then once I have that all, um, finalized in my mind then I'll go on to just facial expressions and so I'll come here and just do this different facial expressions just and then it just helps me to get familiarized with the character design drawing the characters faces from different angles perspectives and stuff like that um, and again this in the past I would I mean I would draw from like um, top-down perspective like this you know how the character would look from a top you know a perspective like how they would look from that i just I, I, again like i said i just don't i just don't have the time you know um, and it's great i mean it's great to get completely familiarized with the characters that way uh, i don't have the time to do it you know if i was doing this full time then yes it would be a no-brainer and you know so so, but I just try to do, okay, what will be some of the main shots that I'm going to recreate in each episode? And, and so, and that's what I focus on, just to isolate the time and the, um, the imagery that I'm going to most likely create and the finished product. So here it's just different, you know, different expressions. This one, I don't know, theme sad or whatever, you know, kind of hmm, hum, what hum drum, hum, cut hum drum. Is that no? It's not hum drum. Anyway, whatever it is, um, and then here, you know, excited or, or you know, surprised. Same thing here with um, the other character and and just different, you know. This I don't really like much. I wanted to change that out, but I, you know. But anyway, again, it's just sketching. It's not a final thing. It's just you're just playing around with facial expression, how hairstyles may shift, how they would look from a different angle and such. Um, and then here, uh, as you can see, as I said, it's, it's like with sports broadcasting. Um, so I draw them here with their headphones and. And that angle and what they'll look like um, you know so uh, and then from there I'm gonna wrap this up then I'll get into even some more details okay, okay what what their headphones will look like so I sketch different ones from different angles as well and and this is you know I'm not gonna go into crazy amounts of detail with this it's just for me to get an idea of okay 
what it would look like so i'm not drawing like different headsets you know maybe that can be a cool little thing where it's a different style headset uh, but i know with my um OCD, you know, I, you know, I'm I'm gonna want it to look as similar as it can, so there's some form of continuity. And oh, I did it on my iPad. I, uh, I started to work on even what the mics will look like. Um, that's still on my my iPad, so not sure, you know. But stuff like that, I I do in the creation process. And these were the things that I have been working on. Um, um, over the past, um, sorry, over the past, uh, few months, you know, and so, and even when I, you know, I took a break, but just mentally, these were some of the projects I was just, just toying around with in my head as far as like, okay, what would, you know, this plot be or what would, you know, just what would each episode would look like and, you know, and just different things that pertain to the creation process. And so, um, so, so I'm looking forward, really looking forward to, to this, um, you know, trying to work out the kinks because I think it would be, um, you know, because I'm really excited about this and, because I, I want to add a certain st um, stylistic, stylistic um, look to this. And, um, and I'm excited about this one here on the left. Um, because, you know, I, could, I can add a lot of my quirkiness to it. So just like with random shapes. And so, but man, I don't, I don't have a timer. I should have had a timer on this. But anyway, thanks for tuning in much longer. <laughs> My initial thought was to create a 10-minute <laughs> video, um, and, and, and this is certainly longer than 10 minutes. So uh, thanks again for all your support uh, for my, my patrons on my Patreon page. Uh, for those who uh, have not yet supported, uh, be sure to. You can go to patreon.com forward slash Michel um, So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, um, you know, feel free to go there and take a look. Um, there are some things that should be available to non-patrons so you can get a flavor of what I do. And, um, and for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, be sure to like and subscribe again. Really appreciate that. Until next time, grace and peace.